Bastia on the law. Presentation done by Kennedy Shea and Melanie Taylor. Claude Friedrich Bastia was a French economist, legislator, and writer who championed private property, free markets, and limited government. Perhaps the main underlying theme of Bastiat's writing was that the free market was inherently a source of economic harmony among individuals, as long as government was restricted to the function of protecting the lives, liberties, and property of citizens from theft or aggression. The law was first published as a pamphlet in June 1850, so why are we still talking about something that was published over 160 years ago? It is because its truths are eternal, and the same situation exists in America today as in France of 1848. Therefore, Bastiat's arguments against socialism deserve some serious hearing. Bastiat examines what happens when the law becomes a weapon of those in power, rather than a tool to protect the rights and freedoms of individuals. This is abuse of the law. The law should not destroy rights. If an individual is prohibited from performing a certain action because it harms others or their property, then a group of individuals should be prohibited as well. Law should protect people, liberty, and property. There are two conceptions of law. One is the positive conception of law, in which you compel or coerce people to behave a certain way. You will do this or else. The opposite is a negative conception of law. Do not take the names literally, as positive and negative do not necessarily mean good and bad in this context. Actually, just the opposite. Bastiat believed the law was a tool to help prevent certain actions that harmed others or their property. We see this negative conception of law in the very famous Ten Commandments. God told us what not to do. Thou shalt not take the Lord's name in vain. Thou shalt not murder. Thou shalt not commit adultery. And our favorite commandment, thou shalt not steal. There are two ways of obtaining wealth, voluntary and involuntary. Obtaining wealth by voluntary means is freely giving up your wealth. Examples include performing actual labor, giving to charity, giving a gift, earning inheritance, and so on. The other way of obtaining wealth is through involuntary means, to use force, fraud, coercion, to take goods from those who obtain them in a voluntary manner. Bastia wrote, government is the great fiction through which everybody endeavors to live at the expense of everybody else. This leads us into our next topic of legal plunder. Bastia defines the origin of plunder as seizing and consuming the products of the labors of others. He goes on to talk about the natural inclination of humankind to avoid pain, that labor is pain, and comes to the conclusion that men will resort to plunder whenever plunder is easier than work. All the measures of the law should protect property and punish plunder. It is easy to understand why the law is used by the legislator to destroy, in varying degrees, among the rest of the people. Their personal independence by slavery, their liberty by oppression, and their property by plunder. This is done for the benefit of the person who makes the law. The motive behind plunder isn't always greed. False philanthropy is the belief that plunder is the best way to battle poverty. Just because Bastia believed that plunder was wrong doesn't mean that he didn't believe in voluntary philanthropy. Socialism, like the ancient ideas from which it springs, confuses the distinction between government and society. As a result of this, every time we object to a thing being done by government, the socialists conclude that we object to it being done at all. So how do we fix this problem? To stop legal plunder, we must make it more dangerous and painful than labor. To stop plunder, plunder must become more difficult than working. It is thought that free people will not care for those who are less fortunate, and that is why we need big government to care for the people. Bastia thought the opposite, that when we are free, we will in fact take care of those who are worse off than us, more so than if we were forced to help them by the government. Created using Powtoon.